I went into action with the uh, Royal Regiment of Canada at Atreville, which was a, a very exposed uh, village on top of a hill, which the Germans had just been driven out of by the 15th uh, Lowland Division the day before, and nobody had been up to collect the dead from, from either side when we, we went in at night. And uh, marching up, uh, the German Air Force were flying uh, I guess some, I'm not sure what they were using, but they were dropping chandelier flares that would light up the whole landscape. And one of these things would start to burn up, up above the column of the Royal Regiment of Canada marching along the road. They'd all hit the road and everybody was carrying a shovel on their back and had a tin mug and their mess, mess tins tied on their haversacks. And the rat crash of all this metal hitting the road <laughs> it was very funny. And then, in all the excitement, then after, if they saw anything, then they would then they would drop anti-personnel bombs. But uh, uh, and those were things they called bread baskets. I think they they dropped them from a fairly good height above the flares. But they spun as they went down. And these little about four pound anti-personnel bombs would be thrown out in a wide radius. And they had very quick fuses, so they broke soon as they hit the ground. And until we got onto these things, when we had all our trucks parked in the Ar Carpe K airport, there was hardly a truck that didn't have a tire punctured or a radiator punctured. So from then on, we had to dig a hole for each wheel in front of it, then roll the vehicle forward, put a few sandbags beside each tire and sandbags in front of the red. Hell of a lot of extra work. There was a tank jammed in the um, uh, gate of the sh shadowed Atreville with a dead, it had burned out, and there was a dead German hanging over the uh, the rim. He got halfway out through the hatch and didn't make it. So that was my the, my first dead German that I saw was this guy hanging out of the tank, because I came in there about 2 o'clock in the morning, and I was looking around with my flashlight trying to find a place to park my carrier.